furnace core. The path to the surface is close at hand now. Thank you. What you've done has brought new hope to the underworld. Now, we have to wait and see. But maybe this will lead to a new lease on life. Well, you should really be thanking Sampo. If it weren't for his intel, we wouldn't have made it in time. As Wildfire's leader, I couldn't simply look on while you fought on our behalf. We had to come help. Huh? Huh? So you're the real chief? W what about Oleg? Oleg has always acted on my behalf. He helps me deal with all manner of problems in the underworld. Thanks to him, I'm able to make time for the people. I do my best to make sure that they have everything they need. At the same time, I was formulating a plan to deal with Svarog. Your arrival unraveled that carefully crafted yet rudimentary plan. <laughs> and for that, you have my utmost thanks. <laughs> when the underworld recovers its freedom, the people will indeed extol you as heroes. However, even though Svarog is no longer sealing off the Furnace Core, there's no way that we undergrounders could go pouring onto the surface. That cold-blooded Supreme Guardian has used lies and tricks to keep the surface separated from the underground. If she detects any change in the underworld, I don't know what she might resort to. As for Wildfire, we need more time to build up our strength. Of course, there's no doubt about that. So I'll be sending someone I trust to go with you. Sila. Didn't she tell you? In private, she insisted on accompanying you. Don't let her carefree nature fool you. She's actually very discerning, and can read a situation like no one else. Zila is a talented scout and a quick thinker. She takes decisive action. She'll definitely be able to help you. Not to mention, you also have Branya now. It seems like the intel we got from Svarog caused her a significant shock. But with Zila by her side, I know she'll recover. Hey, when's the last time you got some rest? I heard that you've been on your feet looking for Sparog since Rivet Town. Health is everything. You won't be much use if you neglect yours. Let Wildfire take care of the Furnace Core for now. You head back and recuperate. If you're lucky, perhaps tomorrow you can return to the Overworld.
equilibrium. The universe should be in equilibrium. Equilibrium. The arbiters of the equilibrium are giving you a trial. For the equilibrium of all worlds, you must demonstrate your strength. The strong will be given greater opportunities, the weak a chance to breathe. Passing the trial will prove that your strength has shaken the scales of power. Worlds will change, and thus, equilibrium. You will encounter stronger enemies, harder puzzles, and greater rewards. After equilibrium, you will go on to face yet more trials. Equilibrium. It is for this that all worlds change. Thank you. 
coach is quiet. Maybe a little too quiet. Pretty good crowd today. Turn up the volume. Sampo Koski always takes care of his friends. Uh huh? Good. The stronger, the better. <laughs> Oh, my 
Crash the party? Turn up the volume! Sampo Koski always takes. Try this on for size! Combat is a series of precise machinations. You won't get away! Let's go. Still don't under humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. And I'm no exception. Hey! Watch the face! for you. What are you waiting for? The customer is king. And for me to portray the king, well, you gotta make it worth my while. Detail one at a time. Better up. One step closer to the stars. the party Keep up. My tempo. sounds like more business knocking try this on for size Yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music. Conquer us all! Pretty good crowd today. Price was too steep. One at a time. Let's make it quick. Uh, rules are made to be broken. of precise mechanic ah!
ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music. Conquer us all! You won't get away! Let's try! Perhaps you still don't have humanity never can see as it's desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Equilibrium reigns supreme. Rest assured, the trial of the Equilibrium will find you. Time for the let's rock. Time for an overhaul. <sighs> Pretty good crowd today. Keep up. We're just having fun. Uh. <sighs> <sighs> Songs for you. <laughs> is yet to come.
Ask the conductor about what happened. Oh good, you're here. Pom-Pom doesn't know, but it's in the Express! No one knows Akivili's Express better than Pom-Pom. There is something strange in here. Pom-Pom can feel it. Help Pom-Pom look for it. We have to find it! talking about what mirror I don't see a mirror did they send for you as well looks like pom pom is quite serious this time mirror hmm? looks like mr. Yang really can't see it Express. Oh, I haven't introduced myself yet. I'm a messenger from the Garden of Recollection. I will be staying on the Express from now on. It's very nice to meet you. Garden of Recollection is an organization that worships the Aeon Fuli. As a messenger for the Remembrance, we surrendered our worldly bodies and traversed the universe in the form of memes to search the stars on behalf of Fuli for the most precious memories. Seeing that I'm able to be here, you must have already come to understand the concept of Remembrance and the Garden of Recollection the memories that you possess have activated a pathway for the Garden of Recollection to make copies and implant me into your thoughts. We can actually just follow you without being noticed. However, the Garden of Recollection believes that you're special. The memories that you possess are extremely rare and precious, and it's very likely there will be even more in the future. That's why I thought it'd be best if I introduced myself to you. I noticed that you've also received the concept of Memo Snatchers. The Garden of Recollection wouldn't want you to mistake us for thieves or crooks. 
Everything we do is for a higher purpose. I believe we've become... A <laughs> Some keywords and hints to your question. Herta and Light Cone. When you came in contact with them, the concept of remembrance, Garden of Recollection, and Memo Snatcher were implanted in you. Madame Herta has a slight prejudice against us, so the Garden of Recollection believes that it'll be best if I provide you with a proper understanding of these concepts. There is actually something that I need, so I'll get right to it. The Garden of Recollection wants to preserve your memories. But don't worry, we won't take it from you. We just want to make a copy of the precious moments. You can see it as a trade between us. This is the Forgotten Hall, created specially to store your memories. We hope that you can visit this place regularly to rekindle your lost memories. The Garden of Recollection will extract the memories they want and give you something in return, in the form of matter and light cones. Come, I swear on the memories of my past self that you won't be at a loss for anything. Do you want to enter the floor? This one looks kind of tough. <laughs> Fighting is meaningless. We're just having fun. Let's make it quick. You won't get away. We're just having fun. Let's go. No interest in conflict. The truth of life and death is sanctuary. It's but a vision. Break. Perhaps you still don't. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Time for an overhaul. What are you waiting for? To betray my customers? I charge extra! You won't get away. Rules are made to be broken! You won't get away. Too late to repent. More business, eh? Fighting is meaningless. We're just having fun. Let's make it quick. Perhaps you still don't. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. No interest in conflict. What is it? Are you not feeling well? Ah, <sighs> that's good. I was afraid you'd be angry. From now on, all you have to do is enter the Forgotten Hall periodically. 
and will give you an abundant amount of rewards. Um, about me being on the Astral Express. It'd be best if you kept it between the two of us. I won't reveal myself to your companions, so make sure you don't tell them about me, okay? so pleasant to work with. Hmm. Alrighty then. Just step close to the mirror if you ever want to find me. Did you find anything? Someone from the Garden of Recollection is here? On the Express? Seems like the rumors are true. The emanators of the Remembrance don't have a physical body, and only those they allow can see them. The Express is not a place they can just come and go as they wish! We have to kick them out! Yes, I agree. Dealing with the Garden of Recollection is dangerous, and the trade of memories is... a shady business. We'll come up with something. Don't worry, Conductor. Songs for you. Turn it up. We're just having fun. <laughs> you won't get away. This is our chance. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it. Or rock with it. Business, there is Sampo. Ah, well, now that we're done with that whole situation in the underworld, we can finally look for the Stellaron. about it. I feel a bit bad about Clara. We promised her that our talks with Sparog would go peacefully. You tried your best. Don't blame yourself. I should have considered such a situation in advance. It was Svarog who attacked first. We didn't have any other choice. Uh, I didn't mean for you guys to start beating yourselves up over it. Look on the bright side. 
side. Things turned out all right, didn't they? Now everyone knows that the real problem here is the Stellaron, and they're willing to help us out. All in all, the mission is going super smoothly. But we still have a lot left to figure out. For instance... Exactly. There must be a reason for this sudden change in her attitude. And... We still don't have the coordinates and location of the Stellaron. We still haven't put all of the pieces together. Dreams? Oh, I remember you mentioned something about strange dreams before. Mm. All three dreams were the same, with Kokolia and that other voice. It would be weird to call it a coincidence. I'm wondering if these dreams aren't just random. If there's some meaning behind them. Hmm. Maybe you have them because... Because of the Stellaron inside him? That's my hunch. But I have no proof. <sighs> well, then that's as good as nothing for now. So, what should we do when we get back above ground? After all this talk, we're still back at square one. We solve a puzzle one piece at a time. Let's get some rest. We'll talk to Wildfire tomorrow and get to the bottom of this. Also, there's still one more key character we haven't talked to yet. Her connection to Kokolia may be the key to cracking this mystery. Austin, please have some food and get a good night's rest. Over there. See that? That used to be the worst street in Rivet Town. And it's also where I grew up. My friends and I used to wander those streets, thinking about where to find our next meal. That is, until Chief Oleg got me out and took me to the orphanage. There, I learned to read and write from Natasha. At the age of 10, I started to patrol the mines with Oleg, occasionally getting into fights with the local thugs. That sounds nice. Nice? Are you being sarcastic with me? Oh, no, sorry. Life in the underworld is difficult. I shouldn't be speaking about it so lightly. Uh, you're always so serious. It really gets on people's nerves sometimes, you know? kind of envy you, Zila. For as long as I can remember, my days have been an endless cycle of studying, etiquette lessons, and training. Every day, all I hear is, Remember who you are, Branya. This is against the architect's admonishments, Branya. Ladies shouldn't use such foul language, Branya. <laughs> Some may envy this kind of life, but I have felt trapped when every choice and every goal has already been made for you. <laughs> Probably can't imagine how that feels. No, I can't. 
But more importantly, what kind of foul language are you using? <sighs> In the name of the architects, I shall stick this spear into your nostril. <laughs> that's it? <laughs> oh, that's nothing. Looks like I'll have to teach you some underworld slang before you go back. <laughs> no. No, that won't be necessary. <laughs> It'll be better than poking people's nostrils, at least. <sighs> I never thought that I'd be here having a heart-to-heart -heart with the future Guardian. As a kid, I didn't meet many people who lived in the overworld. I only heard stories from the grown-ups and figured you were all just a bunch of cold snobs. I've heard from some Silvermane veterans that before the orders were made to seal off the underworld from the overworld, there was no difference between the two places. Everybody ate the same food, chatted about the same topic, celebrated the same festivals. Even though times are different now, things like the joys and sorrows of life, the ties between people, these precious things must certainly still connect us all. There is a way to bridge the gap between the two worlds. We can definitely go back to the time when you and I were not divided. When we could stand side by side against the eternal freeze and the fragmentum. <laughs> I'm not like you. I don't have that many grand plans for the future. But if that's the future you want, I'm willing to build this bridge with you. Thank you, Zila. Your trust is... Very important to me. Speaking of which, um, what are you going to do next? What Svarog revealed must have made quite an impact, huh? Yes. I thought I was prepared for anything, but... As long as I am the Guardian's successor, those truths will come out sooner or later. But why does my mother hide it from me and... Why does she want me to hunt down the outsiders who know about the nature of the Stellaron? It just... It doesn't make sense. I thought it over. There's only one thing I can do. Go ask her directly. You... Hold on. You're not really going, are you? A alone? You can't. This plan is... I've already thought it through, Zila. I am Madame Kokolia's daughter. That will never change. Be it my duties as her heir or as a Silvermane guard, I must face my problems head on. Even if... Branya. This is for you, Sila. Please help me pass it on to the outsiders. If... If I am unable to see you again, They'll know what to do. Okay, I understand. You've made up your mind, and there's nothing I can say that will change it. But, remember this. If you run into trouble, I will come to save you, no matter what. Then I'll be waiting for you. <laughs> so, did you come to this spot when you were a child? Of course. I just didn't appreciate how nice it was at the time. <sighs> Very nice. Uh, that was a good sleep. <laughs> I should go meet up with March and Danhong. <laughs> um, uh,
took you long enough, sleepyhead. We've been waiting all day. I've noticed that our sleep routines don't match up. You either keep getting up in the middle of the night or snoozing away until the day's almost out. Unacceptable. You gotta work on your teamwork. Hmm. Did you have a dream again last night? Huh, that's weird. I bet the conductor won, right? Well then, let's go find Wildfire to discuss our next move and see if they have any new discoveries. Let's go! I can't wait to finally get back above ground!